they're here and they're gonna join me today. All right guys, so I recently just did a video on um, which lotion is the best for um, modeling clay to try and make it, you know, butter slime. Which one is the best to make it like really soft and like, you know, almost like day soap clay. And you guys seem to really, really like it, so I decided to do another video, but this time, I'm gonna be testing out all these lotions to see which one is the best for fixing hard slime or over borax. That is it, let's just get straight on into the video. Yo. time sometimes because you put too much borax in your slime and then you don't know what to do and then usually people they put lotion in it afterwards so I decided maybe it'd be a good idea to see which lotion is the best to, you know to fix slime why is this stretchy still <laughs> what the heck six hours later all right guys I think that is enough borax now we are gonna see how much lotion we need to, you know, make it nice and soft. So, you guys come over here and let's start experimenting. All right, guys, so I realized that I don't have enough slime, so I made it a little bit more, a lot more, <laughs> double the size. So, we're just gonna spread it right now so that it can make things easier. Oh, that is just the worst slime I've ever made in my entire life. All right, I think they're pretty equal now. I think it is Gucci now. And I'm gonna put a little bit more right here and let's start putting the lotion in. These are not spreading out, they just stay there. <laughs> All right, so first we're gonna flatten it out a little bit like that. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna put a um, quarter cup of lotion, and as you guys can see, this is a half cup. I'm just gonna use half of this. So the first one I'm gonna use is this Queen Helene, and it's cocoa butter, and yeah, it's just hand and body lotion, so let's do this. That's very thin, but okay. Ooh, it's already making it, um, Stretchier and softer. All right, it worked. Holy moly, <laughs> that really fixed. All right, so this worked very, very well. Like, it's super stretchy now, and I don't know, maybe it's good, but you know, it is my first one, so I'm just gonna see the other one. It is really, really good, and I'm really liking it because it kind of made it like jiggly type deal. It is super stretchy. I don't know if you guys saw how big, let me show you guys, let me show you how big this makes. Do you guys see that? <laughs> Wait, that was a veil. All right. Ooh, how does it do that? That's crazy. Let's get on to the next solution. All right, next piece of slime. This is horrible. Okay, all right. So, now I got this one. This one is Jergens. I think that's how you pronounce it, and it's ultra healing and uh, repairs and heals extra dry skin. So, what about extra hard slime? <laughs> now we're gonna shove those this lotion inside the freaking slime. <laughs> so hard to freaking knead it in, guys. Okay, just gotta rip it apart. I think that's the that's the key to this um, kneading in lotion. You have to kind of rip it apart like this and stretch it. Feels weird, but I like it. You guys, this is actually a lot funner than the clay one, to be honest. I actually really like this because you make this slime from hard to like really soft and it's really cool. Alrighty guys, so this this works very, very well. Let me tell you that. And actually, let me put some food coloring in here because I want to do a slime smoothie after this, so yeah. See, all right, so it seems like this one is actually better than the first one. Like, it's really nice. Like, it seems like it's a lot softer, maybe even thinner, and like it makes a lot of cracking noises and it really like spreads out. Probably even like butter slime. And let me just bring it in so I can try and compare it. But uh, this one is really nice and it is super good for, you know, making it soft. <laughs> All right, here's the lotion. It's Jergens Ultra Healing. And yeah, let's get on to the next one. Next one. I got a little bit of red food coloring, but it's okay. All right, so the next one is this one. It is Equate and it's Moisture Care Cocoa Divine Body Lotion. And this is actually one of the cheaper ones, so yes. Alrighty, and I'm gonna put some food coloring in here so that it mixes with that. Alrighty, it looks like I'm freaking putting mustard in the slime. Seems like this one is working a little less um, than the other ones. putting all the lotion inside and it actually worked a lot less than the other ones like the other ones were really really like nice and stretchy and it made the slime a little bit thinner and you know I'm able to like spread it a lot easier 
but this one is definitely really good still and it still works. Uh, and I would say which one is the best, I, I'm still going to go with the cocoa butter that I did in the beginning. The one that's Queen Hylene. That one is my favorite right now for making slime softer. And yeah. Alright, so here is the lotion. It is a quite moisture care cocoa divine body lotion. And yes, it does make it like thick. And also, it doesn't stretch as much as the other ones. And so, I'm definitely still going to go with Queen Helen. I think it's Helen, but please don't be mad at me if I say it wrong. Alright guys, so the next one that I'm going to try out is Vaseline. And it is intensive care and essential healing. Clinically proven to keep dry skin healed for three weeks. What about slime though? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add that, you know, put it into the cup, the cup of shame, I don't know. Oh my God, what if we added actual Vaseline, like, you know, petroleum jelly to this, guys? You think I should do that? Petroleum, maybe, maybe it's like um, lotion. And now we are going to add some food coloring too. All right, eh. Okay, this is just sliding everywhere. It's so hard, guys. All right, it looks like I just like murdered a shark here. One thing I definitely like about the other ones is it's not as hard to freaking get into. Alrighty, okay, so one thing I really like about this is that it's super stretchy, but yet it's still pretty thick, like, um, like just you know normal slime like the other ones they were like they got thinner but they were they were stretchy but they got thinner and that was one thing i didn't like but this one it's still definitely thicker and it's still really stretchy i don't know i think i'm i'm um gonna go between queen helen or vaseline because this one was pretty good but i also really like queen helen so uh, yeah, this is the lotion I use and let's get on to the next one Alrighty guys, so we're gonna be using corn huskers lotion again and this one I love this but only for hands. I'm not sure for slime though <laughs> But I saw it at the store and it had such a weird like um Texture and color and it just did not look like lotion So I decided to get it and it was actually surprisingly like really really good. It looks super weird though Do you guys see that? So weird Anyways, but maybe, you know, maybe it'll be like super, super good. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not, maybe so, I don't know. Although I don't think it's gonna work very well. You guys, this is such a weird noise. <laughs> is this, what if this was some type of ASMR just? It's like a bunch of fishes just throwing up or something. Alrighty guys, so I'm finally finished and I don't like it. <laughs> It kind of made it more into jiggly slime than actual stretchy slime, but it does work, but it's definitely not the best one, and it is also actually a more expensive brand of lotion, so I do not recommend buying it for slime if you don't want to waste too much money on slime, but I mean, if it's the only one, I guess so, but I don't know, man. I just don't know. Anyways, let me just add some food coloring to this, and then I'll just, you know, be on our way to the next one. Alrighty, so let me just show you the lotion really quick. This one is the lotion I use. It's Corn Huskers lotion, and I don't really recommend it for slime. It just is just. I think you need a lot of it to like really make the slime nice. And I think I still recommend the Queen Helen just because of how much you can get for how much it costs, and also it is really good and it, it doesn't take a lot. So yeah. And but I do recommend this for your hands if you don't like lotion because it leaves oily stuff all over your hands. But that is it. Let's get on to the next one. All right, you guys. This is the last one. It is Suave Skin Solution. This one is Advanced Therapy with Rich Hydrators. <gasps> Ew! That's not hydrated at all. Ugh, you're false advertising. I actually like Swab's lotion. It's it's actually pretty good. All right, I think I need a little bit more though. All right, let's start mixing this together. It's so weird how the lotion can actually get inside the slime and start to make it like really stretchy. It's really crazy to me. pretty good let's see the stretchiness Ooh, that's really stretchy but not as stretchy as the other ones 
Okay, so this one is definitely really good, but it is it does work a lot less than the other ones. I can tell by you know just the texture and everything. Yeah, I can just tell. But uh yeah, let's add the um, coloring and that is it. Well, this is the lotion I use. It is Suave Skin Solution, and it is it works pretty well. And this is actually one of the cheaper lotions, so it's pretty good too. But uh, I still really um, recommend the Cocoa, the Queen Helen. Whoopsies, there's a little bit of slime on that. The Queen Helen Cocoa Butter. I just find that this one is the best one because of the price and how much it stretches. So yeah, so let's do a slime smoothie now. Oh my god, this is too beautiful. All right, let's do a swirl before this all mixes. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't with these swirls. They're just too pretty, like what the heck? Too beautiful to poop. too ugly it is a really ugly green though but it's fine I guess all right well that is it for the lotion testing this is the one that I recommend it is Queen Helen and it is cocoa butter and I just recommend I just recommend it because it is the cheapest one and it actually has like a lot in the bottle and I just think that it's like one of the best ones but it's also my second favorite would be this Vaseline one, this Intensive Care, but uh, this one is a little pricey, so whatever. And uh, yeah, guys, make sure you comment down below if you want a part two to this, and that is it. I love you so much, and I really hope I see you guys next time. Bye!